This is CBS. This is just moments away now. We're not going to ruin any surprises for you, but here is some of what you can expect on that show. I, I'm very excited about working for CBS. I just found out, in addition to doing this show every night, turns out next week I get to kill a guy on Murder, She Wrote. So I can't... <laughs> David was at his finest, and Bill Murray came out there, and I mean, he was just too good. Dave was great. Dave was very cool, well, and Dave was on top of it. It was great. It was just the same show, the same day, but I didn't expect it. I thought it was going to be a lot different. I was going to be disappointed. We don't think real lot of fans are going to be disappointed at all. Uh-oh, I don't think so. The funny man himself is in true form tonight, keeping up the late night laughs. Dave tells me you'll see a lot of familiar faces with him tonight. <laughs> when David Letterman announced his $14 million move to CBS, he almost forgot someone. Holy oh, Paul. <laughs> have you got a little extra for Paul? Or? He must have found the money, because Paul Schaefer is back as the hippest man on television. I have aspired to hip, if I may. Uh... I don't think I've really made it. I, all I can do is uh, just uh, admit to you how important the concept of hypnosis has always been to me. Join me, Paul, and the Dave Letterman dancers. What's he really like? Um, he is a, uh, he is like a, a gentle rainfall in a Japanese uh, uh, rock garden. Speaking of love, I think it was uh, George Bernard Shaw who said you can't, you can't start it like a car, you can't stop it with a gun. He breaks me up. And it's not, you know, ho, ho, yes, sir. It's a little of that. Dave tells me a lot of the old late-night crew are making the move with him. Yeah, pretty much the same staff. In fact, look who's here. It's our stage manager, Biff Henderson. Biff, come on hey, in and take a bow. Hey, Biff, all right. <laughs> we ex expect a few new stupid pet tricks out of Biff, though. Yeah, well, Biff, uh, Biff is endlessly entertaining, although it would be difficult to prove here today. Dave is moving from gracious Rockefeller Center to the Ed Sullivan Theater in New York. CBS bought and restored the place just for Letterman. But Letterman almost moved the show here to L.A. The network kind of wanted us to stay in New York City. It's better for me. Personally, it's better for the, the 50 or 60 men and women that we have working with us because, you know, they don't have to box up all of their junk and move it to California and, and end up staying in Daggett or Barstow or something. New theater, but same show, same cast. Still, Dave revealed to me one major change he has planned. If I can tell you this, and I haven't told anybody else this, but the first night out, I'm going to be in an evening gown. I'm, I'm looking around. I have my eye on a couple of things. And it's not, it's not going to be cheap. It's not going to be showy. It's not going to be flashy. It's going to be tasteful, but provocative. They can just get Larry Bud Melman in one. <laughs> Dave makes his debut next. Thanks very much for joining us. From all of us on the Action News team, have a nice night. Hello, Dave.